Hello from this way up trail with Star Gaming, and today we're back with Jumpstart Adventures Third Grade Mystery Mountain. Last time we saved Florence Nightingale and Dr. Bugbot, and now we need to do the last one uh, for this first chapter here. Let's take a look at that trans quizzer and select another mission. Now let's see what our question is. What did athletes at the ancient Olympics get the yellow for start winning? Button will play this During the ancient Olympic games, all wars would come to a stop and a truce would be called for three months. That gave the soldiers enough time to travel to the games, compete, and then return home to continue fighting. What did athletes at the ancient Olympics get for winning? Oh, Polly, what did you say? A prize that would make anyone run faster and jump higher. A bouquet of flowers and a diamond tiara. Oh. Here I am, Miss Olympic Games. Doesn't sound bad. Bouquet of flowers and diamond tiara. Yes, that's absolutely right, Polly. The winners at the first Olympics were treated like beauty queens. Oh, no. Polly's gone too far this time. If she gets her way, the strong and brave ancient Olympians will be treated like beauty queens. You can't run a marathon in high heels. <laughs> well, not very well, at least. Click on the inventory button. All right, to let's put, put away that away. Apparently, we gotta stop them from being beauty queens. What a spoil sport, Snootly. But if you want to try to ruin my fun, first you'll have to find four clues a pigeon, a torch, two masks, and a piece of pottery. Okay. I sent Rhonda Robot back in time. Rhonda Robot. She's the reigning robot beauty queen. Rhonda Robot. She's won the Miss Silicon Chip Contest three years running. Now that's talent. We better work extra hard to rescue Rhonda from Polly's wicked ways and save the Olympics while we're at it. Stand back All now right, why don't you check the floor for us, Botley? Okay. All sensors indicate that Polly hit a mission clue in the kitchen. Okay. There's also Ooh. a mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. Okay, so we got two. Uh, let's do the kitchen first. Of course, the door's still locked, but you'll have no trouble getting the combination. Hello. Hurry, hurry. Oh, hold on. Level two. Is it too much to ask for people to leave the doors unlocked around here? Right. Well, we can figure out the combination again. I'm so glad you're here. My blood sugar's dropping. All right. So we just got to add. So this is going to be a nine. Ooh, can I go backward? Oh. That's weird. Okay. I think I could actually type the answers in. Right? Can I type here? Can I type here? Oh, there we go. Really? Is that really the answer? As a teacher, no answer should ever be this. It just... It just creates problems. You got the there should be nothing on that page. Just skip it. What do we got? Minus. Oh. Okay, so can I... Okay. One. All right, you got two locks. Just one more. All right, and what's our last one? Fifty-six times eight. All right, fifty-six times eight is eight times six. Uh, well, eight times five is forty, so forty-eight. So I need an eight there. And then. No. Uh. Uh. Wait. Try again. Eight times six is. Well, eight times five is forty. Wait, what am I thinking? What am I doing wrong here? Wait, what's 8 times 5? Isn't it 40? Oh, wait. Oh, it wants the whole number. Uh-uh. Well, Try again. Okay, hold on. Do you want, like... I actually don't know what it wants here, so hold on. Okay, can I type, please? Oh, God. I wonder if it wants, like, 48, or I want the last digit. You multiplied the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. Okay. So, we need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Okay, that's... Right. 
Now oh. the extra amount in the ones place has been carried over to the Oh, okay. Place. So that they do want the final they do want the final thing and then they need to do it from there. Okay. I was just checking. Okay. Well, 8 times 5 is 40. Add 4 44. You multiplied the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. Yeah. So, we yep. need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Okay. Maybe you do that and then the four just drops down. Oh. That no, that's supposed to, no. There we go. God. Okay, so you have to do that a really weird way. It works. It just takes a little you like longer it. to I get it on the tiles. Keep us out. We're in the kitchen again, and you know what that means? Robot buffet. Job right. time, and Mort's ready to munch. So, Mort, what do you think will satisfy you tonight? Let's see. Tonight, I'm in the mood for a bowl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Level two. Chow time, and Mort's ready to munch. So, what'll it be tonight, Monsieur Mort? Oh, I know. And may I please have some egg foo young? Oh. And that goes great with some good soap. Nice metal gears. Super concentrated lemon juice. And refined sugar. Well, bon appetit, I guess. I think that's how you make that ingredient, uh, that uh, now dish. Now click on the on-off switch in front of the feeding machine, and I'll crank this baby into gear. Okay. So uh, again. Six cups, five-eighths cup. Okay, what do we got? Soap. We need six cups. Uh, one. We'll just do it like this. Uh, okay, soap is good. Five eighths cup. Well, we'll grab the one eighth and just do it five times. I mean, I could be like, yeah, I'll just do this is gears. Yeah, I'll just do it the safe way. There we go. I could have done the half first, but I'm like, I, I'm also good on time. All right, we need 2,555 milliliters of lemon juice. All right, let me uh, grab one big one here. There we go. We can't do that again, though. All right, we can do another, ooh, we can do another 500. Then we need a 50 and a five. Boom. All right, now we need lot of sh that's not what I meant to click at all get out of here we need lots of sugar all right I can't do that again so we can only do that much and then we need two of these little dudes there we go uh, I think that's it enjoy your food sir oil what do I do with the oil He's so happy. Ah, sweet nectar. You did it. Man, Mort is one robust robot. Thank you so much. And please, this is for you. Thank you, okay, sir. We got a pigeon. Inventory and let's finish this mission. Stand back now while I sense the place out. Uh, it was hey, in the art gallery, I think. Here, a virtual collection. Feel like browsing through the virtual collection? Just click on the machine. Or go to I'm the trying. gallery in the back if you feel like creating your own look. Yeah, I don't like this thing. She talks too much. Good work, Snotly. Now you just have to figure out which of Daddy's great works I hid the mission clue in. We need a clue. Quick, Snotly. White U.S. state is famous for its peaches. Peaches from Is Georgia. It always are going to be Georgia, O'Keefe, every Georgia time? Georgia happens to be the first name of an artist whose that seems a little I broken. Love. I wonder Let's if go. that's supposed to happen. Polly hid the mission clue okay. in the painting, so we have to. Well, we know what it is. <laughs> it happens to be Georgia O'Keefe again. Over time, 
photographs have become the most popular way of capturing a person's portrait. Because if so, we this are really good at is this. This a photograph of one of America's most important artists, Georgia O'Keeffe, standing in front of one of her beautiful paintings. Did you notice the regal profile of her face? Georgia O'Keeffe moved to New Mexico and we, began Yeah, we heard this last time. I would really appreciate if you give me some different ones. Her. No, 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 no. I interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this. I can't there believe we go. her. Just when you think you've finished a mission, okay. she throws another obstacle at us. No problem. You can figure this one out. This is a math puzzle. Match each equation with the number that makes it correct. Okay. There we go. Uh, we need 45, 47 as a what color? Red. Wait. Eight times eight is sixty-four. Yeah. Does this? Is there another? There's not another sixty-four, is there? No. Okay, uh, then I need 45 plus 2 is 47. Am I blind? Why am I not seeing a 47? Unless there's another... Oh. That's this one, I think. Double check that's right. Yes, okay. That was... Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be another problem like that. Uh, okay, 34. Uh, we need... This one... Double check, that's right. Yep, that's right. Okay. Uh, yellow, that gets this. Uh, that is right as well. Okay. Now we need 13. A red, something red that gives us 13. 7 plus 6 will do it. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Uh, we need, let's go with 92 here. Right there. Yep. That's an obvious one. Okay. And then I think this is, needs to be rotated. Aha! Did that math pretty quick. <laughs> Ooh, we got a torch. Polly's got steam. Great job. Now, okay, there aren't any mission crews on yeah, this floor. I think that's it for this floor. Quiet now. I'm gonna sense out this area. Great. I've got a strong reading in the shrinking machine room. Just shrinking machine. Okay. Now we're back at shrink -a Plants, plants, plants. So, do you want to know about something? There is a mission clue hidden inside one of the specimens, Dotley, and it's your mission to figure out which one. Okay. So, here's your hint. If I took this specimen and waited 300 million years, it would become a lump of coal. Then I would have a suitable Christmas present for Egbert. I would be delighted to receive such a gift. I have many carbon-based experiments I've been itching to perform. I think it's this. Moss. Moss oh. is a short, no. green plant that grows everywhere. Moss grows on tree trunks, rocks, and moist ground. Moss is super soft. It becomes... And feels like what was a it? Becomes when you coal? Is that what she said? Oh, this. Fern. Yeah. The small green leaves of ferns spread yeah, out yeah, from yeah. the center of the plant on triangular branches called fronds. 300 million years ago, ferns were the Earth's dominant plant life. As ferns decayed, they created much of the Earth's supply of coal. Yeah, I'm going to give you that back, and we're going to put the fern right there. Right specimen? Happy trails. Get in there, Botley. It's a far better thing, Lizzie. Alright. Oh, it's our, it has a level 2 already. Perfect. good at this, so let's get the show on the road. Oh, I don't know which the one it's... The way things feel in here, I think I'll just clip right along fast. You're... Yeah, we don't know where it is in here. Interesting. There's many options. Okay, why don't you stay up in there? Hit a few, hit a few more up there. Keep going back up there. Hit one in the corner. I didn't know it was there. No, oh, Botley, get back up there and hit more. Botley, you don't listen very well. Okay, so we know it's not that close. It's probably the middle one. Middle back one. If I, whoop! I was not looking. So 
I really gotta pay more attention to where he's going. I was just kind of like zoning, I'll be honest. Oop, see I was doing it again, I was looking up. I was looking at the top, like, alright, where do I need to go? Not looking at, you know, where he's going to hit. Ooh, it's right there. I was expecting in the back row, but alright. Wow, wow, we just cleared out so many. Are we going to clear them all out before we hit the middle one? Yeah, almost. Nah, we got it. There we go. I love the shrink ray. It's so fun. We found it. Just pick we up got the, the drama mask. The Thank you. Uh, about that you missed missed one, just saying. Let's move on. There's no stand back now while I sense gonna the place out. Okay. All sensors indicate that Polly hid a mission clue in the robot maze. Oh. I'm surprised by that. Mm. Okay, this is level two already. Again. See the box down there? Maybe Polly has put something in there again. I guess I can upgrade it every time I go to it after the next episode. So, like, if I, for some reason I've only done level right one of something, I can just keep it and move up to two and then three later. Easy. Maybe you and your little friend should just okay. get up now and go play with some of my old baby Probably toys. Probably south. One, two, three. Do we have south three? I do. Okay, south three. Bridge west. Okay, we'll land up here. Do I have a north? I do, but it's too many. I could south two. Oops. So I'll go. Uh, west one, two, three. North two. Yeah, that's fine. Bridge south. I think that's it. Go ahead, little robot. Watch out for the evil mean robot. You got this, buddy. Yeah, this one was relatively straightforward. No teleporter. Go, Robit, go. Go, Robit, go. You're doing great. So far, the big evil robots are nowhere near you. You got it. Yeah, we got this. And then he's just going to go south to the end. I don't know if I have enough points, though, to, uh, to unlock the time traveling thing yet. Fantastic! The robot made it through the maze. You are some slick programmer. Beautiful job. Thank you. We made oh, it. we do have enough we points. We've got all the clues. We've got enough invention points. Now let's go into the time machine. All right, we're already heading to the time machine. The time machine door it's almost quick, back. it feels like. Moving right along. Let's get over to the Wheel of Invention to figure out our next mission. All right, let's head on up. Time to finish up another mission. Click the on button to start the wheel. Welcome once again to the game show where history's on TV and Polly's got the clicker. In this exciting episode, we'll search for lovely Rondo robots back in time. Your first clue is a cute pigeon. And is it will cute? lead you to what this mission is all about. <laughs> Pigeons have invented a special way of drinking water. Most birds drink by scooping up water with their beak. The pigeon uses its beak like a straw. It's the only bird in the world that actually sucks up water. I did not know that or forgot it. Which other bird? Doves? Right. <laughs> in fact, I didn't know that about them. Doves huh. have two names for the same exact bird. Like some other birds, doves have a special symbolic meaning for people. The American bald eagle, for example, stands for freedom. Where I used to work had uh, a bunch of birds I had to Dove clean up after, and the doves were so annoying. Symbol of what? Doves are peace. Good job. Ho -ho. Except they for annoyed me, and years, I wanted to kill the them. I mean, what? Stood for peace. It is a symbol of international they cooperation were very annoying. among countries choosing they peace always kept trying to get over out. war. What sports event is played to promote peace? Is it the Olympics? Because we've been talking about World Cup match, World Series, Olympics. Gold medal answer. 
Thank the you. Olympics Thank are played you. by people throughout the world to encourage peace. That's why doves are released at the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, because they symbolize peace. Ha! So Polly sent Rhonda Robot to the Olympics. You're headed for a medal. Keep going. No, we're heading for a uh, diamond tiara. The next and flower is a torch. The torch will light the way to where the Olympics were ah, first. I get fired. it. Light the Making way. Fire was a huge step for mankind. Here was an awesome form of energy that was finally in our power. No wonder that fire has taken on so much meaning and importance for people. Even the Olympic Games open with a spectacular celebration of fire. How does the Olympic torch get into the Olympic Stadium? It's like. Uh, it's a runner, but I mean, they do a lot of crazy stuff with it now. That's right. Ho -ho. I think I heard once it went underwater somehow, globe, and which is crazy. The Olympic Stadium, where the Olympic flame is lit. The runners represent the countries competing in the Olympics. Runners from countries all over the world train to compete in the Olympics. Approximately how many countries compete in the modern Olympics? Oh, this is when was this out? Like '96? Uh, I'm gonna guess back then, probably one twenty. Right. <laughs> About 120 countries guess. participate in the Olympics, including the country hosting the games. I think it's a games. bit more than that now. The Olympic torch is always lit in which of those 120 countries? Uh, it's going to be Greece, because that's where the Olympics started. Yes. <laughs> the Olympic torch is always lit in Greece, because the first Olympics were played in ancient Greece. The torch symbolizes the constant renewal of the Olympic spirit. Pack your bags. Looks like we have to go to Greece to find Ronda Robot at the Olympics. Okay, so Olympics in Greece. We knew that. Two masks are your next clue. They will lead you sure to who invented be. the oh Olympics. My. Oh. These masks represent two types of plays invented for the theater. The laughing mask represents Comedy. plays that are comedies. Comedies have funny jokes and, and happy drama, endings. I believe. The mask with the sad face oh. <laughs> represents what kind of play? Or tragedy. Ooh, I think it's tragedy. That's right. Ho -ho. I think the mask Tragedies is called drama or something like that. Unhappy endings. If you were going to write a play, you'd have to decide whether you wanted to write a comedy, a tragedy, or a mixture of the two. If you wrote a tragedy for the theater, what would people call you? Awful. A, oh. Uh, a dramatist? Yup. <laughs> okay, I, that one I didn't know. Have been writing plays that was for a long time. Thus, like, poet didn't make sense. I guess writes books, wrote poems. Plays in honor of a god called Dionysus. Who were the world's first dramatists? Ooh. Ancient Greeks? Great job! Ho -ho. The ancient Greeks invented drama as we know it today. For the Greeks, drama was a religious festival. The ancient Greeks had another religious festival. They called it the Olympics. Perfect. Oh, okay. So I was like, I was thinking, I'm like, who did create it? Okay, they're just giving it to the Greeks, not. Get into the group. Ah, uh, they're not like All right. that. It was the not a specific person. Doesn't seem like. And it will tell you or that might have been lost of time. First held. Heating clay dug from the ground transforms this gooey wet mud I think? into hard, waterproof, long-lasting pottery. People in the Middle East made the first pots and plates out of pottery 9,000 years ago. What's another name for pottery in general? Ceramics. That's right. Ho -ho. Many ancient pots and plates have been found because ceramics are hard and last a long time. Scholars dig up ancient ceramics to find clues about ancient life. What do you call the study of ancient ceramics and other objects? The study of it? Uh, <laughs> current affairs. Uh, would be archaeology? That's right. Archaeologists study ancient human fossils. societies by looking at the things they made. An archaeologist would most likely study a society from what year? 
could be any. That's not fair. But we're gonna go the oldest one. That's right. Ho ho. And 776 BC was the date of the very first Olympic Games, hey. which began as a religious festival. We know about the first Olympics thanks to archaeologists who dug up the ancient stadium in Olympia, Greece. Ah. Congratulations. Oh, hey. pack your toga. It looks like we're headed to the pack first my toga. Olympic Games <gasps> in ancient Greece in 776 BC. And to rescue poor Rhonda Robot. All right, let's go rescue her. We got the key. Let's save the Olympics. Ready for another ride? Click on me then. Hold on. <gasps> Boop. Get set for a trip to ancient Greece. We've got front row seats for the very first Olympic Games. Yay! It's the world's first Olympic winner. But boo! It's Rhonda, the <laughs> beauty queen robot. Look, the next event is the talent competition. The talent competition. There's no mistake in the Oh, but he is so happy. Gymnastics. That poor athlete isn't getting a laurel wreath. That's a diamond tiara. And yeah, that's fine. Flowers. It's fine. Hit the recall button before the evening wear competition begins. It's fine. Look, he's so happy about it, though. All right, fine. So needy, Bali. Much better. You've saved the Olympics from becoming a beauty pageant. Imagine running a marathon in high heels. Now you back made that to the joke. future. All right, we saved the Olympics. Whoa, that was some landing. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. All right, we gotta we go put, put you in storage. Um, you're gonna go middle, I think. You're gonna go here. And now's on. Well, 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 Notley. You're turning out to be a formidable opponent. Still, I'm not worried. Here's a whole other set of questions. You may start squirming now. Ooh. There we go. There's our next set. Okay, pick up the quiz disc and click on the inventory. That's the only way to see what more is in store for us. All Let's right. take a look at that transcript we'll and that. select another mission. Click on the inventory. We'll do that later, Botley. But we have the disc now. That's what we're going to call it for now. We have saved five robots. We have Ronda Robot. We have Dr. Bugbot, Cosmobot, uh, Flip the High Diving Robot, and Danny DeFrostbot. Not Danny DeVito. But we saved five different things and we still have quite a few robots to fill in here and we will do that next time so i will see you all later have a good one everyone bye bye